Hi everyone, and welcome to episode number 177 of the Karen Knits podcast. My name is Karen, and I'm coming to you from South Central Pennsylvania, where I live, where I work, where I knit, and get into all kinds of other crafting shenanigans. I'm so happy to have you here with me today. It is Saturday, September 16th, 2023, and it's a gorgeous early autumn day. It's only in the 70s right now. It's gorgeous, bright blue skies. This is perfect weather. I love this, I love this time of year. So I'm so happy to have you here with me today. If you're a new viewer, thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoy it here. If you're a returning viewer, thank you so much for coming back for another week to see what I've been up to since I last talked to you. I'm so happy to have everyone here with me. I just, I enjoy this so much. So anyways, it's been a fairly busy week. I've been busy with school things and work things, so I haven't got as much done this week as I was hoping to or planning to, but that's fine. I still got a goodly bit of work done on all kinds of things. So I have no finished objects, technically no finished objects to show you, but I do have some progress on a couple things that I do want to show you. First thing are my toe up sort of shorty socks for September. And these are made with apparently very tangled up yarn <laughs> to start with. <laughs> these are made with yarn from my 12 day advent calendar, which contained 12 50 gram skeins of yarn, one for each of the 12 days of advent or leading up to Christmas this past year. It's from Orlando Fiber Arts and Instead of opening them all up over the 12 days of Christmas, I opted to open one per month over the year of 2023. And these are my September socks. So I have these, I'm making these as part of a couple make-alongs. One is the Spooky Feet make-along with Alex from My Yarny Corner. And the other make-along is with the Crazy Sock Lady, and I think hers is the Crazy Spooky Mal 23. I'll have the, the tags or the hashtag thingies uh, down in the description below. But both of the make-alongs are for Halloween or autumn themed socks. This is... I think this is autumn because this color reminds me of pumpkin spice lattes. Not a fan personally, but that's what they, that's what they remind me of. So I've made a decent amount of progress on these since I saw you last week. Last, ooh, don't get tangled up. So last week I was way down here. I'd finished the toes and had just barely started the body of the sock. So the, the foot is done. The gusset increasing is done, the heel turn and heel flap is done, and I've rejoined my main color and have a couple, two or three, two or three rounds done. So they're well on the way to being finished. I make these, as if you've been following me for any length of time, you know what my, probably have heard this once or twice, <laughs> with what my standard uh, formulas for this. I do my my toes, they're done two at a time, toe up, and I do 25, no 55 rounds on the foot, and then there's another 20 rounds that do the gusset increasing, and then once I get to the leg I do 25 rounds in the main color, and then I switch to doing a two by two ribbing, and I do that until I completely run out of yarn. And then I add a couple rounds, two, three, four. Ooh, apologize for that. I will cut out those sneezings. You do not need to hear me sneezing when I'm only a few feet away from a microphone. It'll clear any wax out of your ears. So I cut that out. 
and I completely blew out the train of thought. Oh, I think that's where I left off. Once I switch to doing a two by two ribbing, I will do that until I am 100% out of yarn. And then I will rejoin the bare yarn and I will do two to four rounds as um, a pop of white at the top of the sock. And he's in a little pop of color like Kay Litton uh, introduced me to quite a while back. So that's where I am now. I imagine I will have these done in a few days. Uh, today's Saturday. Um, I'll probably finish them Monday or Tuesday at the latest. So they will be done for next week. And then I'll be ready to cast on another pair of socks. And I will show you what the plans are for that in just a few minutes. So those are my September socks using my 12 Days of Christmas Advent Calendar from Orlando Fiber Arts. And that was, that was my September pair of socks. So I only have three more pair to go. And I will have 12 pair of sort of shorty socks. And I love them. I'm really, I really am enjoying these. And I have a handful more 50 gram skeins of yarn in in my stash that I am planning on starting to do more of the 50 gram sort of shorty socks. I have a couple fiber festivals that I'm going, like just little small ones, local one in Hagerstown, one in Frederick, Maryland, that are coming up in October. I will hopefully find some 50 gram skeins of yarn there. Bring a few more home with me. We shall see. I don't need any more yarn, but that, that has never stopped me yet. And confession time, I did order a packet of five 20 gram mini skeins of yarn off Etsy this morning. So ordered them at seven, I think 7.30 in the morning and by eight o'clock in the morning, the shipping label, I got the notification, the shipping label was printed and they were on the way out to go to the post office. So they should be here. I think it said the estimated delivery was on the 19th, which is Tuesday. So I will be able to show you some little yarn goodness. I might do an unboxing, film that on Tuesday if, I, if they arrive on Tuesday, or else I'll show, you, show them to you when I see you guys on the following weekend. We shall see. And the other thing I got done this week, so I, I haven't really done a lot of knitting stuff this week. Well, aside from those socks, that's, in a week, that's a, a goodly amount of sock knitting that was done. The other thing I did this past week, swatching time. This is my swatch for my GeoGradient shawl. The uh, Stephen West Mystery Knit Along that will be starting, I think it's the 5th of October. I think that's right. Thursday, I think the 5th of October. So I did my swatching and in this light, there's not a lot of definition between these three colors. This is going to be quite a subtle gradient. This is using whole super soft. I'm using, I think it was 3.5 millimeter US four needles. Information on this will be in my, I'll put a link below to my project page for this. And um, the exact needle size is indicated on there, but it's whole super soft yarn in the colorways silver gray, flannel gray, slate gray, and graphite. And this is un unwashed, unblocked. So it's still pretty loosey goosey looking and kind of see through looking. Um, this will bloom up a lot nicer once the spinning oils are washed off it and it's been blocked properly or properly washed. I was just too lazy to do that. I think I finished this up on Thursday. I could have blocked it Thursday afternoon or on Friday, but nah, I didn't bother. And I might not bother. I know how 
this yarn blocks out so I'm not really worried about seeing exactly how it's going to look once it's blocked. I know what it'll look like once it's blocked. So, and it'll look nice. So I got the swatching done using the recommended needle size and this yarn, unblocked fabric. I do match the gauge that is going to be in the pattern or the gauge that was indicated in the introduction section on the, the uh, geogradient uh, pattern intro section thing. Sipping water today. It's afternoon, I'm done with, I'm done with caffeine for the day. So, my work and works in mind things that are coming up so the geo gradient is coming up in october the other couple things i'm going to start is i've seen a few people on podcasts showing that they had these uh, scrap scrappy yarn crocheted baskets that they had made and i thought ooh, i enjoy crochet I have a lot of scrappy yarn that needs something done with it. So I thought, bingo, let's, we're, we're getting on this. So I could not find my large size N or t nine, I think it was for an M or N or a nine or 10, like this US size or a nine or 10 millimeter crochet hook. I cannot find mine. I know I have some, it's probably in the bottom of a tub tangled up in some yarn. I don't know where it is. So off to Amazon one goes and I ordered a crochet hook. It was a size 10 millimeter from, it's by Prim, P-R-Y-M. And it's one of those ergonomic ones. So it came in a day or two. I hate it and I should have read the comments before I ordered it because the shape of it it's narrower at the end at the the working end and then it widens out so if you are the kind of person that holds your crochet hook in an overhand manner and crochets like so it probably feels fantastic in your hand. It feels nice holding it that way. That is not how I crochet. I hold my crochet hook like a pencil. And so when I'm trying to crochet and it's kind of moving around in my hand, it's very top heavy and my fingers, like my grip keeps sliding down closer to the end. It was just very uncomfortable to try to use. So I returned it and ordered another a different type it's also by the same company and it should be delivered sometime today so i should be able to cast on or begin one of these little crochet basket bucket things i'll put a link to the um, the pattern that i'm going to use it's a free pattern on ravelry and it's very simple pattern you use this big fat crochet hook and i think the pattern called for using like three four five strands of dk weight yarn all together and done at a fairly tight gauge so it's a fairly dense fabric that'll stand up on its own which is what i want and you start in the center and you crochet around increasing until you have a circle the size of the bottom of your basket you want or the size of the basket you would like and then you continue crocheting once you've established the number of stitches you need you just continue crocheting the same number of stitches and it will go from flat on the bottom that's getting increasingly larger to starting to just go straight up because you're going the same size all the way around and then you keep going until it's the, the height you want you add a couple handles on it while you're crocheting and then do a few more rounds after that to finish off the handles and voila you have a basket so 
The new crochet hook I ordered is on the way. It's out for delivery now. It'll be here between 1.30 and 5.30 today. So once I'm done filming, I'll be able to get started on that as soon as the hook arrives. I was hoping to be able to have started it a couple days ago, but the hook wasn't, I wasn't, wasn't comfortable using that hook. So what I'm going to use to make this is I have a whole bunch of leftover fingering weight yarns and a lot of them are various mixes of yarn some are 100 percent wool some are a little bit thinner some are thicker um i have all kinds and instead of trying to use all of that for scrappy socks i'm I'm going to use up a bunch of that in this uh, basket or tote or whatever uh, whatever it's called. What I will do also is I have some worsted weight yarn that I got. I got several skeins in a few colors, in white and a couple other colors that I got at an online auction with some other fabrics and it's old squeaky really squeaky acrylic and i can't foresee myself making anything with that so it's going to be going into this basket and so i'm going to use one or two strands of the worsted weight yarn probably only in the white and then i'll also use four five, six maybe strands of fingering weight yarn to get a nice thick yarn. And I'll, I'll do a little bit of a swatch with it to see what the fabric feels like and see what it feels like uh, crocheting with it and how, how dense the fabric is. If I need to make it thicker, I'll just add another strand or two of fingering weight yarn. And now, so this way I'll be able to use up a lot of my fingering weight scraps that have just been sitting there collecting dust and not being used for anything. Because I keep having troubles deciding, well, what can I, I don't have enough of any specific yarn to make anything specific with it. And I don't want to mix and match fibers and some of them are wool, some of them I don't even know what they are anymore. So using them in this basket will make it nice and nice and easy to just use whatever I have and just get it used up. Because I certainly don't want to throw it out. That's not going to happen. I have zero desire to throw it away or donate it when I don't really know what it is. So that's one project that we'll be starting probably later today and if I have my way and if my typical crocheting style and speed is my usual I will have a finished basket to show you guys in a week <laughs> so I crochet quite quickly compared to knitting I crochet quite quickly it's the it's the fiber art that I learned first and the one that I just find it quite quite quick and easy to do especially where this basket is just all single crochet so that's one project that we'll be starting well the geo gradient will be starting in October this crochet basket will be starting today or tomorrow and the third work in progress that I will, or not work in progress, work in mind that I have, that I will be starting up in the next few days. Once I finish my September socks, I want to make a pair of, what was I calling them? Happy scrappy, sort of shorty socks. I don't know, maybe that might even be a name of somebody's pattern already. I'm just going to follow my basic um, sort of shorty toe up two at a time, sort of shorty um, toe up socks. I will follow that same pattern or recipe that I use. I'm plan I 
think I'm planning on doing the white toes and heels. Maybe a white cuff. I haven't decided on that part for sure yet. But I'll do the toes in white and then I'm just going to start using scraps of yarn that I know what the base is for all of it. It's basically thumbnail. Anyway, this thing weighs a ton. It's a a crystal cookie uh, cookie jar. I'm yeah, it's probably a cookie jar. But in there, I have the two little balls of yarn that were left over from my Advent self-striping yarn from Freckled Whimsy. So those two little, little tiny bits of yarn that were left. And the rest of the yarn in there is all yarn that, um, I think every single one of them is yarn that I've dyed myself at some point or other over the last few years. And most of them, I've used them for socks already. And there's anywhere from five grams to probably 20 to 40 grams in some of the balls of yarn are a little bit bigger. Some of them are really teeny tiny. And some of them are, come on out. Are quite a bit bigger so probably 20 to 30 grams in um, this ball yes it's probably about 30 grams so I'm going to do the toe in white and then I'm just gonna grab each of those yarns and what I'll probably do is for each each particular ball of yarn I'll divide it roughly in half because I want the socks to be sort of matching but scrappy so I don't if I don't match the yarns exactly in half, that's fine. If one little section or stripe is four rounds and the other is six rounds, that's fine. I'm not gonna fret about that. And I'm going to make more sort of shorty socks, but they're gonna be like happy scrappy sort of shorty socks, two at a time toe up. And I just wanna use up some of my fingering weight scraps. because I have a whole bunch. I've used some for the socks that have been part of Sock Madness where we needed to do some with color work and we needed like 10 or 15 grams of a specific color. I have been using some of those for that, but a lot of these little balls of yarn are getting too small even for that. So I just want to start using them up. So once my September socks are done, I'm going to start that scrappy pair of socks seen a lot of people on different YouTube channels I watch where they've made scrappy socks and I love them. Like I say I'm not going to do them completely mismatched from one sock to I don't think I will. Some I, I might do partly mismatch but they'll be sort of matching. And I might start these ones out using the last little bit. Oh. See I have two of the Freckled Whimsy Advent yarn from 2022, self-striping Advent yarn. I might do the toe and then continue use those two, because I have two little balls left over, do that first and then just switch over to all of my own yarns after that. We'll see. I just want to use up scraps and they look fun to do. I don't think I've ever really done a pair of scrappy sort of scrappy shorty-ish socks that's my plan and other than that like I say I ordered a set of five 20 gram mini skeins of yarn so I have one 20 gram ball of yarn left of the five I ordered from Moonstone Dye Works a couple years ago I made four socks with those so I have one of those, and then I'll take one with the, one of the new ones. And so I'll make a mismatched pair with one of each of those. And then I'll do two more pair with the other four 20 grams that'll be arriving later this week. But that'll be a little bit down the road. 
sort of. I might need some knitting for not this week coming up but the following week the hubby and I have a two-day conference a two and a bit day conference up in Lancaster Pennsylvania we'll be driving up there on Thursday and we'll be home on Saturday so it runs us a little bit Thursday afternoon evening then all day Friday and then half two-thirds of the day on Saturday so I'll need some knitting for that so I might crack into one of my 50 gram skeins of yarn and make a pair of sort of shorties with that just so I have fidgety stuff to do that's that's the plan the other finished object I have from this past week is my my newest diamond art painting and I really like this one I think it's a really cool design I'm trying to show it so it doesn't get too much glare on it but it's an apple with an apple tree inside it I think it's a really pretty design I really enjoyed working on this one and I really like the the finished product really really like this one so I currently do not have excuse the crinkling that's just a productive plastic page for it I currently do not have a diamond painting project on the go I am going to try to show a little bit of restraint and I'm going to try to not order a new one until maybe tomorrow or next week sometime. And I'm trying to decide if I want to order. There's one I have in my Amazon wish list that is a kind of a Halloween autumn theme. It's got like a big house in the background and a path in the front that has pumpkins along it. So it kind of has like a Halloween vibe to it. I might order that one. Or I might order this one that is uh, a gray horse. Oh, dinglings. Anyway. <laughs> I, um, I haven't decided if I'm going to order the one with the horse or the, um, the Halloween type one. They're both about the same price. They're between $8 and $10. So they're, they're not expensive at all. And I'll just have to decide which one I want to order and get on that. But I want, I wanted to thank all of you that commented last week about all the ambient noises. <laughs> I have no control over that and it's hap I'm happy to see that it doesn't bother too many people. Hopefully it doesn't bother people and they just didn't say anything, but I can't really control that. I don't really have an area in our home that's that quiet because we live right downtown so even if I go to the other end of the apartment there's a restaurant below us so once you move farther down to that end you hear their exhaust fans running all the time during the day so then you just have like a back humming noise would be there I think that to me is more annoying of sound than although it's almost like a white noise sound I don't know maybe I will try filming there one day but I kind of like my little background here too I don't know. I'm, I'm just rambling now. So work is going well, settling into the new routine for the most part. My kids have a test on Monday, so I have to finish getting that prep this weekend. And then I'll have grading to do. More grading from my other classes that need to be done. Yeah. So just just the usual work stuff. So I'm like I say, I'm hoping I have the September sort of shorter socks done and that I can get started on my um, happy scrappy ones. I'm gonna have to check and see if anyone's actually using that name. Maybe I'll I've been contemplating you hear me out for this for a second. I'll see if I, there's any interest in this at all. I'd like to start 
a small make along. I'm a small channel, so I'm not going to have a huge make along. I'd like to do a make along with people doing um, sort of shorty socks with me. It doesn't matter if they're scrappy, whether they're mismatched using your 20 gram skeins of yarn, doesn't matter if they've got alternate or contrasting toes, heels, and cuffs. It doesn't matter if they're really shorty shorts, shorties, or sort of shorties like mine are, or if they're just regular socks. I kind of would like to start that. Maybe I'll do the last quarter of the year, we'll do a lead up to maybe doing, if you want, you can do a seasonal one, you can do scrappy ones. What do you think? Is there any interest in that? Or if I start a make along, would I just be just me by myself? <laughs> I'd like to try to figure out a way to get some kind of little prizes for it, whether it's um, yarn patterns, I don't know. But let me know if you think that might be a fun idea and do um, sort of shorty. And you, if you want to do them top down, that's fine as well. This is gonna, the, the rules are going to be pretty loosey-goosey. I would have it running in um, my Ravelry group. So I don't really do much of anything on Instagram right now. So we'll see. Just kind of formulating a plan on that. So let me know what you think of that, whether it be something that you might be interested in joining or not. Double dipping will be allowed if you're in some other sock make along that's cool you can double dip triple dip whatever um and they don't even have to be shorties i've been mulling that over so i'm kind of kind of leaning towards maybe i would like to give that a try and see if i can get any see if i can get anyone that wants to knit along with me <laughs> if no one wants to that's fine i'll be okay all by myself <laughs> As you can tell, I make the sort of shorty socks. I've made oodles of them recently and I, I'm still loving them. So anyway, on that note, I shall let you go. Take care and I will see you guys again in a week. Bye.